In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit your pitched roofs uh, to form any kind of pitched roof, uh, whether it be a gable or a Dutch gable, uh, whether or not you want to include a dormer or if you want to do a mansard roof. Any pitched roof option that you can create, you can do easily with Prospect. Let's start with a classic example. Uh, we've created a pitched roof here, but obviously we want to tidy up this edge. You can edit your roof by simply right clicking it, clicking on the plus roof or hovering over it, and then selecting the edit roof pitch add gable. Once you've selected that, you'll see that when you hover over the different uh, faces of that roof, it will turn to a darker red. So make sure that you left click on the face that you want to change, represented by the dark red color. This will open the dialog and in here you can control it however you want. Now I am using metric, but if you are using imperial, you can type in feet and inches. I'm also using degrees, but you can also use pitch and ratio. When you're happy, you just press submit and you've now edited your pitched roof. I'm going to do a standard gable on this one by going into, again, the edit roof pitch add gable, and I will select this end. Again, it's going to go in the dialog. And I just want to quickly show you that you can also show or automatically generate your gable infill. Uh, mine is ticked, which means that my gable infill will automatically generate. Uh, if you don't want it, just untick it. When you're happy, you can press submit. I'll quickly make a change. And as you can see, it will generate. Now, when you do uh, actually go into that and you edit it, make sure that you don't put it in the gable offset and you choose the actual gable overhang. Make sure you look at the orange help bars to the left because they will uh, describe uh, what the terminology means and what you're going to actually do. Everything is parametric so if you accidentally do make a mistake you can fix it at any time and you can also remove any of your choices. You can do that by simply right clicking on your roof hovering over the plus roof and saying so let, uh, remove all pitch settings and that will reset it. I'll now show you a Dutch gable. The process is very similar except this time you're selecting add Dutch gable multi pitch. Now if you know the pitching point you can uh, select an exact uh, distance however I'm just going to left click to place. This will open the dialog and in here you can set your Dutch gable. I'm happy with that so I'm just going to press submit. Again, it's parametric. If you want to adjust it, you can at any time. Mansard roofs are a classic uh, multi-pitch, for example, but you can do any kind of multi-pitch. So this time I'm going to, again, select the Add Dutch Gable multi-pitch, and I'm going to say, yeah, that's good enough. This will go into the dialog, and instead of doing a 90, or if I was using a pitch and ratio, I'm using that option, uh, I'm going to say, yep, yeah, and press submit. So traditional kind of uh, mansard. However, I'd have to do that on every side. So I'm going to press Control Z to go back, or Command Z. Uh, and that's how you can also go back without having to remove pitch settings. I'm now going to show you how you can add, add dormers or additional elements to your roof. Let's start with a dormer. So add dormer. You're going to left click to start drawing, left click to end, and then now you need to tell it how far out you want to come. So maybe there is good enough. And obviously you can type in exact dimensions. Now if I wanted that to be a gable end, I could do it, and then I could infill it with walls, etc. However, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to get onto the other side and I'm going to do it again because it's not just for dormers, it's also for porticos or any other roof element that's at a different height. Again, I'm going to left click to start, left click to end, and now I'm going to come out a bit farther and show you. Again, these are parametric, you can edit them, you can get rid of them. Sometimes it is easier to simply delete it and then because you already have the face you can regenerate it. However, you can also uh, put in your 2D dashed lines for your roofs and to do that 
you simply need to right click on a roof, hover over the plus roof and select generate 2D plan. This will open the dialog and it enables you to control the height of the dashed lines, which enables you obviously to uh, differentiate between uh, level one and level two, etc. Uh, press submit. I've now clicked into floor plan two and you can see that it's obviously giving me the floor plan. Obviously I don't have anything in there, but it is giving me the dashed lines for my roof line. It's important to note that at the moment the dashed lines aren't parametric though. So if you do make a change to your roof, delete the dashed lines and regenerate them.